wanted to do a brief walkthrough of my 2024 um, landscape planner, digital planner. So when you first um, purchase from me, you're going to get a PDF that has a link to where it will take you to a Dropbox link to where you can download this planner and you can upload it into any PDF annotation app. So if you are an Apple user, I know the most popular one is GoodNotes. I am an Android user. I am using a Samsung Galaxy S6 and my preferred app is called Penly, P-E-N-L-Y. Um, but there are so many other PDF annotation apps that you can use for digital planning. Play around with them, um, experiment, figure out which one you like the best. I, like I said, my preferred one is called Penly, so that is what we are in right now. So when you get this planner, um, I just wanted to point out that this little thank you message right now that will not come on there it will be a blank sticky note um, it is made to just be a look like a little pad of sticky note paper sitting on top of your desk there so you can add a sticker on top of that you can add words like I have here you can add whatever you want on top of that post-it note there so this is basically what it will look like when you get it um, the coils are all hyperlinked, so if you click on the top of the coils, it brings you right back here to this front page. So basically, it's just closing your book. So anywhere you are in the book, you can click on the top of the coils, and it'll, it'll bring you to this page. Now, if you click on the bottom of the coils, it opens you up to the front page. So just a brief little thank you message from me, but I wanted to point out that my website down here, julieolinger.com, that is a live link you can click on and it'll take you to my website. Um, Etsy shop is a link, Instagram is a link, and then I put all of the hex codes over here for the different colors that you will see throughout this planner. So again, if I want to close the book, I just click on the top of the coils. If I want to open the book, I click on the bottom of the coils, and that is true no matter where you're at in this planner. So let's scroll, oops, sorry, let me scroll to um, the next section. So this is your index section. I can also get here by clicking up here on the index tab. And then each of the calendar months, um, while they're listed over on your right side, I also have them listed here in the middle of the index page, and each of these will um, link to that month. So if I go to that month, and then I decide that I want to back to my index, I just click on the index tab, and it brings me right back here. The notes section, there's four different note types. And um, I only made four pages because I didn't want to make this book so big that it was hard for you to download or import. So if you go, for example, if we click on Wide World, there is only one Wide World page. There's only one Narrow World page, Graph page, and um, Bullet page. So if you wanted more than one of these, for example, I know that I like to write on Bullet and I know I'm gonna want a lot of these pages. What you can do, and this is totally dependent on what app you are using. Um, I know that GoodNotes does this, and of course I'm here in Penly and it does this. Um, so, but it's, if you don't know how to do this in whatever app you're using, there are tons of YouTube channels out there that, um, you know, just look up a tutorial and you can Google search, how do you duplicate pages in your digital planner? So for me, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this page. Oops. Okay. Don't click on it. <laughs> I went to long press on it. So it selects it. And then I am going to go up here to my copy. And then I'm going to long press on it again and click paste after. So now that was page seven, but page eight looks exactly the same now. So if I click on that, so this is page seven and then page eight is the exact same thing. So all I did was just copy and paste the same page in there twice. So if I click on the notes page tab, it brings me to the first note, which is the wide world page. And then you would just have to swipe over to get to whatever note you want, or you go to the index and it takes you to whatever note page you want. Okay, 
Um, so let's go back to, oops, sorry, let's go back to index and talk about these custom sections. So these custom sections, you can name these whatever you want. And let me show you how I would do that. So I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna take my highlighter tool and I've already done this, but I'll show you how I did. So um, I click on the colors and I click on the dropper and I can just select that color and it gives me the hex code. Um, I also added, like you saw in the beginning, I added the hex codes in the beginning so that way you had them. Um, but in Penly, it's really easy just to use that little dropper right there. And then what I would do is just color over where I have written in custom section. And then that way, if whatever I wanted to name this, I could name this, um, Fun Picks One. And then if I wanted second section to be two, three, four. I could write over them and name them whatever I want so it doesn't have to say custom section right there. Um, now, and these are also, oops, I think I accidentally clicked on something. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so these are also all hyperlinks. So if I click on this first section, it is going to link me to um, the custom section. So this is what they look like. So this was my, um, where I said, fun picks. Where's that? Right in here. Fun picks. So this was section one, section two, three, and four. So if I go back up here, this also takes me to that first section. Same thing with two and three. Um, and then if I wanna get back to the page that had all of them, I just click on index and it takes me back here. So I'm gonna erase all this. Um, so that's how you navigate through this custom sections. And so as you can see, there's lots of pages here to use for custom sections. I like to use mine for stickers. Maybe I have one that says holiday stickers, one that says seasonal stickers, one that's widgets. Um, maybe I want to keep like a whole bunch of hex codes for different colors. Maybe I want to list out all of the different fonts that I love. Um, I personally, I am a cheer coach for a high school cheer team, so I have one section that is just for my cheer squad. I also host a charity event a couple times a year, so I have one section that is for my charity event. Um, I've seen people do them for each of their kids. You can really use them however you want. So let's go ahead and look at the months. So let's start with January. And so like I said, don't forget that the top of the quails will close your book completely. Bottom of the quails will take you back to the um, the welcome page. Can you get to the index, the notes, all of your sections, all of your maps are always going to be on every page. Um, and so if you notice, there's little tiny, just light gray boxes around each day and so that is going to take you to that day so for example if i want to go to tuesday january 2nd i click on the two and it is going to open tuesday january 2nd so let's look at this this is what a typical day looks like you will have the weather you'll have a box for your goals your gratitude you can list your mood your schedule your top three steps water your breakfast lunch and dinner and snacks your to-do list and then just an open box for notes or doodles or what have you and like i said these are always customizable so if you don't want this notes section to say notes i would just grab this color and just cover over the word that says notes and then or you could put a sticker over it you could put some digital washi tape whatever you want and then you can make that box be whatever you want it to be same thing over here. If you don't want this to be breakfast, lunch, dinner, you make sure that you have the same white as the paper. And the paper is not a complete white white. It's a little bit of an off white. I did that for a reason so that it looks like real paper. So I'm going to say off and then again, cover this up. And then I can use this box for whatever I want. You now it's just a blank box. Um, but of course you can always use it as intended color in your water intake things like that 
Um, same thing with this schedule over here. If I do not want to start my schedule at 5 a.m., what I would do is put a box around this section. And here, I'll change the color so you can see what this actually looks like. Maybe. Did I already do that? No. So this is what a box looks like, in case you are wondering. Um, but, so this one that I just added is a completely white box. I'm just going to make sure that it goes all the way to the edges. And just cover up those lines. And then I can, and then my schedule starts at 9. I could put whatever sticker I want in there or, um, you know, anything like that. It's, like I said, it's completely customizable. So erase all of that. So this is what the day looks like. Let me go back. So we're in, we're in January. Any of these dates that you click on will take you to the day. Let's look at the weeks. So if you notice at the beginning of each week, there is this long black bar at the left side. If you click on that, it will take you to your weekly view. So this is what your weekly view looks like. How's your focus for the week. I usually like to put a piece of washi tape up there and then write my focus in. You have your weekly goals, to-do list, a habit tracker. There are seven boxes going across for the habits. And then um, it is a box style week. So again, you can customize this. You can put a sticker over this whole entire area and really just make each page completely customizable and make it anything that you wanted to make it. That is one of the things that I love about digital planning is that I don't have to stick to the same weekly layout every week. I can absolutely change it up just by the way that I put my boxes and washi tape or stickers. I can cover up the entire page and make the layout completely brand new from week to week or day to day. So let me go back to the month one last time and you'll see that there is a notes section over here on the side just to try and jot down things that you might need to remember. I like doing that going into future months. I'll just jot down my notes over here on the side. That way when it comes time to plan for that month, I can see what I need to lay on the calendar because it's already written down out here. Now when you scroll past the month, you see that you have your monthly goals. You have... Um, your personal goal. You have your goal here and then you can break it down and write your steps to take, your personal, your finance, your health, your hobbies, and your career goals. And then at the end of the month, you always want to go back and do your reflections. What are you grateful for? Um, did you reach your goals? What are three things you can improve? Where did you grow the most? Any additional notes? And then the rating system. This is probably my favorite feature to really go back and reflect and think about like, well, maybe I was not on point with my diet and my fitness this month, but you know what? My hobbies was absolutely out of five. I did everything that I wanted to do and it made my general happiness also out of five. Um, so I like going back and reflecting in those areas at the after the end of the month. So when you're looking at your whole month of January, you can just kind of scroll back and forth between your goals and your reflections. And then that's where you will start with your weeks and your days. Um, I think that I have, yes, let's see. We can see the month of May for myself. I already did a little bit of decorating, getting a little things put together so you can see how I decorated the month of May. Um, I'm not sure if I did any of my weeks yet. Let's see. That's the first week of May. Oh, I did do <laughs> randomly. I just picked a random week in May and looks like I decorated this one. So again, you can see, let me just select all of this so you can see that is what the week looked like there on the left side. And then with me covering it up with washi and boxes, I made it look, have a completely different look and feel. So just some of the ways that you can customize and change this planner. And again, to the thank you page or to the front of the book. 
And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and informative. And if you do get this planner, I really, really, truly hope that you're enjoying it. Please leave a comment and let me know.